अपनाशन शंक भृन्नंदकी चक्री शंगधनवदाधर पृथंगपाक्षोभ्य सर्वप्रहनरायु नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय शाह 
त्रिलोकान्यूतात्मते विश्वभुगव्यय इम स्थव भगवत विष्णुर्यासेन कीर्ति हथेद्यच्छेत्षा श्रेय प्राप्त सुखा च विश्वेशगत प्रभवाप्यय भजे पुष्क संगते यांति पराभव ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय This uh, prologue starts off with this wonderful question. King Yudhishthira said, "Please tell me who is the supreme personality of Godhead, the ultimate controller of the universe? Who is the ultimate destination of all living beings? Whom should men glorify and worship to attain auspiciousness? What do you consider the best of all religious processes? What mantra should one chant?" to become free from the bondage of birth and death. Uh, what wonderful questions he asks. Uh, just like in the beginning of Srimad Bhagavatam when uh, King Parikshit is uh, addressing Shukadeva Goswami, he asks a series of questions similar to this. And one of those questions he asks, what is the prime duties for the human beings on the verge of death. Hmm? Well, we're all on the verge of death. Try to understand. A hundred years maximum lifetime in this material world is like nothing. A hundred years. I'm, I'm what, 62 years old, and it seems like I was 30 or 40 years old just a couple of weeks ago. I mean, really, the time goes by so fast that, especially as you get older, it seems like there's less and less and less of it. Uh, because we store up the impressions in our mind. And the impressions that are similar go on the same branches of the mind. The mind is like a tree structure, works by association. So really there aren't that many different things that happen in the world, you know. You wake up in the morning and then you stagger into the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> rinse the cobwebs out, you know, and then you come out, you, maybe you try to get something to eat, you know, and then you have to get dressed and go to work and do all that stuff. And, um, you know, I mean, it's basically eating, sleeping, mating, defending. And if you're a real human being, devotional service to Krishna. <laughs> so uh, that's our life. There's not that many different things that happen, really, are there? So... Uh, these incidents all tend to get collapsed into the uh, fundamental branches, associative branches of the mind. And after a while, it starts to be all the same. One day is like another, you know. It's not that there's a, a big, big difference. And the days seem to fly by. Just like we were sitting down to lunch the other day. And said, it seems like just a minute ago we were in Santiago. Like, wasn't that just last week or something? <laughs> And remember Mexico the week before that? <laughs> but actually it's more like eight months or nine months since we've been there. But the time goes because we are absorbed, We're constantly absorbed in service. Huh? So the time just seems to fly by. The day is just kind of zipped by. And like before you know it, it's over. So similarly, this human life, before you know it's going to be over. And actually there's nothing to prevent us, you know, walking out in the front yard and getting hit by a, a, a meteorite or a falling tree, you know, or a piano. <laughs> you never know. You just never know. You can, get, you can get run over by a truck crossing the street. You just never know. Could be all over any old time. So the best thing is to be prepared for death at all times. See? You just hear his question and uh, Maharaj Prikshit's question are applicable to all human beings at all times, in all circumstances. Therefore, the very question is already absolute truth. You see? 
Therefore, Maharaj Pariksit, when he, when he asks this wonderful question, that Shukadev Goswami, the first thing he replies in the beginning of the second canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, he says, this question is the prime hearing subject matter for all human beings. Huh? Just the question itself, never mind the answer. Just the question is already the prime subject for hearing. This is what everybody should be hearing. This is what everybody should be talking about. Why? Because the question itself is the absolute truth. The question itself is the meaning of life. Huh? And if we meditate on this question, then we'll be led in the right direction. So in the same way, these questions at the beginning of Vishnu 